Hi, let me first apologize for the messiness, but I'm sure that will happen to you if you try to make one of these. Um, what this is is a way to plug in your guitar to um, uh, an iPhone or iPod Touch and use uh, apps that you can find that will process uh, your guitar or voice or whatever it is that you're going to be using. Um, what you're going to need is uh, for you're going to need a bunch of things to cut the wire or whatever you're going to need some to strip the wire. I, I like using a uh, razor blade, that's pretty simple, but you can use things like this too. Um, you're going to need a soldering iron. Solder. Um, I like to have a continuity meter to check to see if things are working or, or which leaves or what. Uh, and you're going the supplies you're going to need are two female jacks. One, you're going to need a quarter inch jack right here that's uh, mono. You're going to need a stereo female uh, eighth inch jack. And you're also going to need this wire. Um, this was originally a quarter inch or a eighth inch jack to three RCA um, connectors, uh, male connectors. Uh, you can't find this at Radio Shack or anything like that. You usually have to order them online or um, go to a um, Best Buy or something like that that's going to have these. The reason you need this is because it has four different contacts on here. I don't know if you can see it, it's out of focus. But there's four different um, contacts here versus a regular um, headphone cable, which only has three contacts. You need this fourth contact for the microphone. Um, so let me go over these contacts with you real quick. The one closest to the base here is the microphone hot. The one, the next one up is the ground for both the microphone and the um, stereo out, and the next two are the um, contacts for out, um, the left and right signal. Um, what you're going to want to do, uh, starting with the the guitar in, is uh, what I did here, um, and I use I found the ground, which is the, the middle, uh, the second one up on here. Um, of the uh, yellow strand, it might be different depending on what cable you get from wherever. But basically, you want to find the uh, you want to find the uh, RCA jack or whatever the, the line that has both the ground and the the microphone or the line in um, contact, which is the, the base and the second one up. And that for that one was the yellow in this case. Uh, I took the ground, connected it to a, uh, connected it to the um, resistor, and right here I used the one, a 1.5k ohm half watt, and uh, the ground goes into, uh, for some reason I did it where the ground goes into the, uh, the tip of the female, um, which is probably not right, but it, it works. <laughs> uh, and then I had the ground go out to the hot here. Um, you can probably do it the opposite way and it'll still work, but this way seemed to work for me. I don't know why I did it this way, um, but uh, it works. Uh, th for the output, I suggest using stereo. Um, you can probably get away with doing mono, but you want to make sure, th the reason why I did stereo is because I want to close all the circuits so this doesn't get all confused. Um, basically, just take my word for it and just do a stereo, even though it's a little bit more complicated. You're going to have four leads here. Um, I don't know if you can see this very well, but uh, um, where is it? Uh, you're going to have four leads here. You're going to have uh, two grounds, one for the left and one for the right, and the hot for the left and the right. And if you can see it, there's uh, the white here is going to be the left, and the red is going to be the, the, uh, the right signal. Um, and basically what you want to do is you want to connect it so that the red, um, let's see here, the red is going to the, um, the red is going to the middle of this here. So you want to look at this, figure this, and each one's going to be different. You want to look at your um, female 1 8 inch and you want to connect the <clears throat> middle to the red wire. Um, so if you take out the red, there's going to be two wires in here. There's going to be a ground and a, and a red or a hot. And you want to connect the hot or the red to the middle here. Um, 
and then there's going to be a for the left signal you're going to want to connect that to the the tip part you want to connect the hot part to the tip uh, so the white cable in this case is the uh, left signal uh, and you want to connect the the left hot signal I'm sorry and you want to connect that to the um, let's see here like I said uh, to the tip um, I'm just making sure this is right um, yep that's right okay um, and then you want to connect the ground uh, you want to you want to actually take both grounds from both of the left and right signal twist them together solder them together and connect that to the the, um, the ground here and that is the one closest to the base so you want to find you want to plug it in again and you want to find the one you want to find the connector closest to the base and that is the ground um, and once you get all that soldered up um, you can plug this bad boy in and this will work perfectly um, maybe I should give you a little demo <clears throat> sorry I'm not too prepared here I just finished soldering this up um, well let's see yeah hold on this sometimes these uh, these cases will block you from plugging in the um, connector all the way in because Apple likes to make things difficult for us so let me try this again you have to reset most apps after you uh, plug things in so it can see if it, the signals there so big thing is you want to have a closed circuit when you um, open up any app um, that's why I had to restart it and plug this in uh, because it won't um, register for some reason uh, so here we go let me turn on the sound here getting my guitar ready um, oh, and I also have to plug in the output no, sorry. Uh, there's a little bit of a buzz right now just because I have a lot of things plugged I have lights plugged in to the same uh, amplifier and things like that that's not normal so I have my guitar here um, plugged in to this, this and then the output here plugged into my uh, amp my amp or mixer board good morning oh my name is Steve Friedland. I'm a professor at Nova Southeastern University That's in not Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, anyways, that worked for you. Anyways, sorry for the um, misorganization, but I figured I'd show you so you could um, have at least something to go on because I saw some tutorials out there and they all kind of suck. Um, and they're actually they um, the way they said to wire it was most of them were wrong. Um, if you need some help, uh, email me or contact me. Uh, cool. My name's Marvin, and that's it.